everybody, everyone. Welcome back to North Sea Angling. On what is a really wet and windy day. I run it down and I couldn't care less. Got my 10 flat fish, got my ray. <laughs> right, so what I've effectively selected to do is I come down to Phoenix Day and although this isn't the mark that I originally wanted to fish, it's probably the most sheltered that I'm going to get. You have this kind of cliff behind you providing shelter and I've got these rocks to provide a bit of shelter as well. Obviously you can see there's a lot of kind of structure around here. So I'm expecting it to be a bit more snaggy. So I'll uh, fight my teeth with being paid to lose some gear. And what I reckon I'll do is, while the tide's down here, it's quite low tide at the moment, it's going to be coming up. Um, I'm going to cast off from around here, casting out that way. Then as the tide goes higher, I'll probably have to move back up to the top of the rocks. This, has got, this mark's got a bit of structure to it and with the weather I'm going to try something different. So I've actually ordered some bait online. I've got this stuff from Solent Baits. Um, I've got squid stuffed with pita crab. Um, yeah they literally deliver the next day um, so I'll see how it turns out. Looks like good bait. Yeah when I originally uh, looking to come it said chance for showers and about amount of winds. I checked last night it said uh, winds are up to uh, 27 miles an hour with gusts going a lot higher and flood warnings and it is now hammering it down. Pretty good. Just trying to cast out my uh, little rod, and this wasn't part of the plan. Snapped. Fan. It's heavy dust. So wait on this one. once again. I think it's seaweed. Yeah. Hmm, not overly enjoying this spot. Seaweed, 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 seaweed. More bloody seaweed. Hmm. Definitely think I'm probably going to end up moving. I've kind of got my stuff packed up here. <laughs> going to drive down to the kind of seafront in Phoenix, so uh, well, there's some free parking and try just down there. A couple of reasons. One, we seem to just be getting seaweed and snags here. Another reason, all these kind of rocks here which look very snaggy and slippery. If I get a fish on and it swims into here, um, any of you who have subscribed and watched the last video, uh, it's lame. I had a problem with basically getting snags caught, uh, fish getting caught and snags right at the bottom of rock features. And I came to the conclusion that it probably wasn't so, uh, sensible or smart to fish those kind of marks on my own. So, yeah, no fish, lots of weed, potential snags. So, I'm gonna move. All right. Right, so Manor End in Phoenix, though, now. And I've got a lot of friends who say, you know what, it's called fishing, not catching. Well, it's that, I wanna fish. So, all I'm gonna cast up first on this one is a three-hook boom rig, wind log worm, keep it in quite nice and close. It's, you know, they'll be flat as white in there. So once I've got a fish and I've saved the blank, then I'll start trying to think about trying some of that um, peel of crab, putting that out of distance and uh, put on another squid bait, a uh, whole squid and a pen on, hope for a ray on that. Right.
Next bait, just a squid. It's just repeated crab. Streamlined on a pulley panel. And this is going on the big 15 foot nine. Daiwa Protus. The wind behind me, hopefully I can get some nice distance on this as well. Not the best cast. That'll do. Yeah, I think there's something on. I had a few little nibbles. And yes, I have a fish. We have a small dab. There we go. First fish of the day. Yep, it's a dab, not a flounder. They are beautiful things. Nice release. I'll be sorting out my other rod so I don't know if I missed a knock or anything. Small bit of weight. Yeah, I think there's, there's a fish on that. What have we got? I think we've got multiple. Triple shot. <laughs> well. First one is a really, really small dab. Got a little specimen though. And we've got a pin whiting. size dab on the bottom I think. Let's have a look. Not much better spy those but a small bit. Yep, another dab. Still quite small actually. Cut that first bit of the video out. Well, I tried that different mark and just had my rod snap and uh, got all the snags and just start start from here again. Saying hello, welcome back to North Sea Angling. We're targeting flatfish. Makes it day seem like a great success then. And on the other rod, it's another squid bait on a pulley panel. Oh, yeah, got enough. That's a bite. I think it's a flatfish. And a white. Him. It was just 
swimming the wrong way. Make sure he goes back okay. That looks good. Tiny, tiny, cavernous mouth waiting. Back on the big rod, casting out with just a whole squid. Or flatfish, what we saying? Oh, we've got multiple. I think it's one white and one flatfish. Now, five flatfish. That one's got nice colourings actually. It's got lovely little spots. It's like a better size whiting. So, nowhere near in size. So far too small to keep. Coming up. Got one more flatfish and another whiting. Wow, this is a pretty flatfish. So, transparent. You can see your hands through it, but it's got that lovely mussel green kind of pattern on it. I love watching these things swim. Down, get the hook out. There you go. Another whiting. Yep. Hi. We oh, got a little knock there, yeah. See the little rattle? the slight movement and vibration. There. Yeah, it's definitely something knocking it. Yeah, there he is. That bait has literally been out. 30 seconds. Come on, I'm actually more in the mood for flatfish. I want to get to 10 flatfish. It's something I've never done before in a session. Oh, I can see a whiting. Tiny little pin biting. It's almost like a sporting match between whiting and dabs. And the whiting are going to try and equalise to make it 6 6, 6 5 still. The dabs hang on to a slender lead. Once again, almost as soon as I cast out, there's a bite. going for this time.
think it's a white and I think white and are gonna level it to six six. <laughs> yeah. One thing I really like about this knife is you've got the public toilet so you're right there. There's all my gear. And you've got the bins just there. So if you find any rubbish or have any rubbish of yourself that you can put underneath that way. Really nice and easy. Something on it. Give me a little fight. I think we've got two on. It's another flat fish and a white, and I think. That's a bit of a dab. That's a clunking dab. Size of that. Do you know what? I've always fancied eating the dab. I'm sorry, the hook in a really nasty way as well. Give me the hook. That's a good fit. I'll get the white back. That. So, because that's quite a nice healthy dab, it's got a nice chunk of meat on it as well. I'm looking up the legal um, minimum size. Apparently, 150 millimeters, which is tiny. Might be the point in keeping something that big. But let's have a look at what this one is size wise. It's 29 centimeters, so it's almost double the legal keep size. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep him. Nice fish. Well inside for a keeper flatty, so... Oh yeah, they're lovely. They're oh god, yeah. I thought I knocked yeah, him. No, nice. oh, well, well done. Never eaten one before, poor little thing. Yeah, no, they're very sweet, they're really nice. I imagine just cook it similar to a place, like... Yeah, you just uh, pan fry it, yeah, with a bit of butter. Yeah, yeah. really good. Yeah, enjoy that. I might put it in the oven with some like, garlic and tinfoil and that'll yeah. do that. I yeah. think that could be quite nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank, you very, thank you very much, have a good day.
little pout in and another dab. <laughs> Oh, I've got one big enough for dinner so far, so I'm happy as it is. There we have a pouting. Pretty fish, aren't they? At least it's the third species of the day. We have another, another dab. Really dark colour that one. Interesting, all the different colourations and markings. Just have definite not. I haven't done again, so I don't know if it's... <clears throat> Another flatty. I think it's either eight or nine now. Yeah. yeah enough. Yeah, the one it is, but it's taking the hook name off. Snap by snap. Yeah, that's the thing. Only small little rattles, but let's see what we got. Yeah, we got something, huh? And indeed it is. Ten white and nine flatfish, I think. Right, so it's about 20 past three, which is uh, bat high tide. So, yeah, see if we get a few fish as the um, tide starts to head back out. Um, as the swells picked up, the flatfish have slightly disappeared. And I'm one shy of getting my temporary session that I wanted. Uh, just like one last flatfish. But otherwise, other than that, I had 10 white in, nine flatfish. Sorry, 11 white in now. And it's an eye back there. Weather's just one minute, it's beautiful and sunny, next it's pouring down. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> it's just starting to make another little smell of rain coming through. Coming. I think I'm about to get drenched. Uh, the gentlemen in the bay down there, they've had, I think, five white and a dogfish. They kind of just give me some more lug as well. Uh, yeah, Let's see how it goes. I think I just had a good bite on this.
Yeah, we're in. I think we've got to escape. Seaweed under Ray. Well, that makes the date. back right no thorn back ray or i'll be i'll be a bit more worried if it was a stingray <laughs> to the toilets and literally as I came out I saw my line just going boing 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 <laughs> and just ran over to try and get the bike try and dry the camera lens off a bit because we just got absolutely soaked we've got another flat got two two flatties hello number 11 and number 12 really small ones Get another bite on the uh, three hook boom rig with lug on it. Oh, I think it's just come off. No, it's not, it's still on. It's a tiny, tiny whiting. Makes it 12 all for the flatties and the whiting. I suppose one positive to catching all this uh, seaweed is it drags a load of plastic with it. So I can literally just dispose of it and get it out of the sea. Just going to take the fins off this before I get home. Just saves a bit of bother. There we go. I'll just take the scales off and then I'm going to cook it whole. Yeah, there's a bite on that one. The whiting clench it at the death. Right, well, that's 
just got that uh, rod to basically reel in and then collapse back in. And then I'm gonna head home. Not the end of the video yet. Still got that lovely flatfish to cook up. Um, but yeah, all in all, I've had 13 whiting, 12 dabs, um, one pouting, and obviously a thornback ray. So pretty fruitful session. I'm really glad that I ended up moving spots. Yeah, this one's been pretty productive. I'm gonna collapse that one back in. or the lugworm behind the bin. I'll post that up on one of the local sites in case any anglers want it. Right, so here we are back in the kitchen. We've got our dab. I'm just going to descale it underwater. Put it in the cling film. That's a bit of butter. Spring of onions. Bit of lazy garlic. And I think we're good to go. Now what we're going to do is fold that over so it seals in the juices. So now I'm doing some thin slices of potatoes with a load of seasoning. And then I've got some garlic bread and the fish all to go in. I think the last time I did a sole, I, I cooked a sole, I did it for about 20 minutes, so I'll go for a similar thing for this flatfish. It's starting to cook nicely. Really nice. It's a lovely afternoon of Puffin Rock. Mm. Um, I wouldn't be too sure what that means. Mm. He likes it. <laughs> No, an absolute treat. I've even given some to the rest of the family for a little taste test and it's gone down very well with them as well. Actually probably my favourite flatfish at the moment. Well bar a halibut or turbot. But really really nice but prefer it to sold, prefer it to place. That was unexpected. Hi right, guys so all in all as a review of the day I've got to say pretty successful. Um, 27 fish caught, four different species including a ray and a fish that was big enough to take home for the dinner table and delicious. Uh, one of the other things to note <clears throat> is that actually being able to catch a fish, take it home, to be able to give a bit of it to my little boy. Something kind of like very natural and very prime feeling about it. it made me feel really good. So yeah, anyway, that's it for the video. 
Hope you've enjoyed watching it. If you have, please hit like and subscribe. And um, well, until next time, take it easy.